well, fell behind. You know, um, didn't you know work the strike zone the, the way we, uh, or I'm sure the way he wanted to. Um, so I mean, when you get behind big league hitters and you got to pitch to the fat part of the plate, I mean, you, um, they're not going to be quality at bats for you as a pitcher. On that subject, he had a lot of foul balls, a lot of two strike hits. What, the, what, if anything, does that tell you about what he's doing? Well, more than anything else, it's an overall command. You know, I mean, it's obviously getting the ball where you want it, in the zones you want, the areas you want. Um, you know, uh, I mean, he, Anthony went out there and, and battled. Um, but again, it, it, it comes down to, to your fastball command. Everything else plays off of that. Jeff, this first week and a half sort of been feast or famine, up and down, peaks and valleys. Is there anything to make of that? Do you see a trend or a reason for that? If you remember in spring training, coming out of spring training, one of, one of the things I, I you you know question was asked about you know what I felt. I, I you know I I said then that there would be some inconsistencies. Um, you know, just given you know when. You know, if you ask, you know, hitters to do different things. Um, and, you know, given the experience in some of the areas, um, you know, I knew that that there would be. Uh, and, again, it's it, it's still early. Um, we talk about hitters finding rhythm, um, you know, controlling the strike zone. Get a foot down, one one pitch, one zone mentality. Um, you know that, and being stubborn, stubborn with the approach. Um, you know we we saw a trend up. Today is not, you know that was not indicative of, of, you know, you know the approach that, you know we will have, you know throughout the year. You know it's still part of this is, you know work in progress. It's going to be a work in progress, and these guys are still grinding it and working on it and you know it's um and you know the opposing pitcher has a little bit to say about that also given what you kind of just said what's kind of what's your take on where this team is after 10 games i know it, like you said it's early but kind of what's your take of what you've seen so far well just exactly what the question the previous question you, you know you know we show up and, and string ab's together and quality at bats um, and then there are times where you have gaps uh, you know it's you know these guys are going up with an approach um, they're going up to barrel of baseball they're, they're, they're going up to, to put together a, a solid major league at bat um, you know and, and again there's um, I feel we're you know we're trending in the right direction uh, with the mindset uh, we've got to get the mindset and the, and the physical side of it uh, to push through it to match up. And you know, I I feel comfortable that our that our coaches are working with them and and, and moving them in that direction. In the second inning, there were three interesting defensive plays. There weren't errors, but there were close plays. Martin missing the diving catch, the the pickoff that didn't get completed, and the ball that Andrews may or may not have. Been able to get on Pujols' ground, or what? What was your take on on, on all of that? Well, I mean, anytime you you dive for a ball, there's, you know, it's it's either going to be a catch or a no catch. You know, that's that's uh, a product of a dive. As far as the pickoff play is concerned, um, you know, you might tip your hat to the base runner. I'm not so sure he didn't he didn't bait us into throwing behind. Um, you know, play we have in our playbook also. Uh, you know they, you know they're 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 pretty educated and understand the the game and they know we like to throw. They saw it in spring training. We know they like to throw. Um, you know it was if Elvis doesn't slip, that's probably a, a you know a quicker quicker throw and he's out. As far as the the, the uh, pull holes play, 
you know, I, I mean, a ranging play that, you know, we, we've seen Elvis make before. How do you view the, the setup of the schedule? It does seem a bit strange to play 10 straight with no days off to open the season and then have so many more, or is it just one of those you can't control anything so that, that you can't control so you don't worry about I it? I know I can't control the schedule. You know, the schedule is what it is. I mean, it, you know, there's somebody probably, a, you know, higher pay grade than mine that sets that up. Uh, you know, but, you know, t 10 days to start, I mean, it, it can work for you. Or it can work against you, and you know we won't we won't really know that until we get through these off days. And you know, I'm I'm glad we have some off days coming up. It, it gives them you know some natural ability to, to to get some of these guys off their legs. And you know, after going ten straight, talked about it <clears throat> this morning about you know that that exact you know subject as far as <clears throat> you know coming out of spring training and guys not playing every single day. And then slammed right into ten straight. It is a challenge. Knowing that everything's magnified the first couple of weeks of the season, is Elvis in a funk? I don't think Elvis is in a funk. No. As in what? Offensively, defensively. You know, I, I see a guy that's, you know. Defensively, he makes he, he makes some nice plays. You know, there's there's some balls that you know obviously Elvis will tell you that that, that he needs to catch, he needs to make. Offensively, I mean, there was there was a little disconnect early. Um, you know, timing wise, getting a foot down. Um, you know, made a couple adjustments last night. You know, there was he, he got pitched fairly tough tonight today. You know, there were some pitches that were, you know right on the edge or maybe just off the edge, um, tough pitches to hit. 